Hey, what's up, YouTube? Captain Spaulding here. It is Thursday. It's like 9.25 at night. Got home from work. Just had a big old half pound burger. Gonna have a cigar. I thought I'd turn the camera on and say hello to everybody. I'm gonna smoke a Rosa Cuba. It's just a cheap bundle stick, nothing fancy. I got two out in case this one splits. Sometimes you get a dud, they're cheap. They're like 29 bucks for 20 of them. I poked a hole in it with the cigar punch already. You can probably see that. Maybe you can't. It's not that bright in here, but. I'm gonna light it with a cedar strip. If you don't know, you get, uh, when you buy boxes of cigars, sometimes they got sheets of cedar in there. You just take them and just break a piece off. You can use that to light a cigar instead of a wooden match. If you don't have any matches. So I'm going to do that. It's been a crazy couple of days with all the uh, snow we've been getting up here in upstate New York. Put a couple videos up. It's, it's been a lot of, you can't see anybody, any of the other cars. And I'm in a Wrangler, a Jeep Wrangler, I'm up high. But you got a lot of crazy people that don't want to clean their cars off and stuff. And that's dangerous for everybody. I find it's usually younger drivers. But... The uh, adults set an example, maybe the youth will follow. Hopefully, right? Hope everybody's been doing well. Had a good. Well, let's see, we got a holiday coming up here. St. Patty's Day. So, happy St. Patty's Day to everybody. I guess this will be a happy St. Patty's Day video. It was two strips, usually takes three, to light a Corona size uh, cigar. And a lot of you are probably going, why are you going through all that hassle? Honestly, it's because I don't smoke that many cigars anymore, so I'm going to take the time to smoke one, even if it's only a dollar stick. This is all part of the relaxation takes a little time to light it. Same with a pipe. See? And that is a short filler cigar, which means the tobacco is chopped up in little bits. It's all clippings from other cigars, and they put it together in a sandwich. And then they wrap it in a leaf. And that's a pretty even light for a cigar made up of tiny little bits and shreds of tobacco. The more expensive cigars have long filler, which is long leaves that go through the whole thing. But those cigars, when they trim them, that's what they make these cigars out of. I have no interesting stories to tell. Other than there was a guy driving a, riding his bicycle in the middle of a snowstorm the other day when I was on my way to work. That was kind of funny. I took a picture of him. If I think of it, I will put it at the end of this video. It wasn't a very good picture, it was through the window and it was all full of rain and snow and stuff, but... So yeah, I had a big old barbecue burger for dinner. Half pound beef patty with 
bacon, pepper jack cheese on a toasted brioche roll with two onion rings and barbecue sauce. And I felt like after I got done with that, that a cigar would be the perfect uh, finish to that. Later on, I'm gonna have a piece of pie that my wife made last night. She made uh, pecan pie, because pecans are for truckers. At least that's what that's what Emerald used to say. Represent. So I've just been working, same as usual. I'm 10 hour days, so we are planning some cool hikes this summer, my wife and I. So hopefully we're gonna have some really cool video to share with you guys, should be fun. I'm excited about that. I need to break in my boots, which I've actually worn out in the snow and the crap, but I haven't hiked with them yet. So I'm excited to do that because those are wicked boots. Their uh, Salewas, I think that's how you say the name, Salewa, Salewa. I go through shoes pretty quick, but hiking boots usually last a little longer, especially if I only wear them hiking and not day-to-day -day travel. If you're interested in these cigars, JR Cigar sells them. 30 bucks a bundle. Go get you about 30 of them bitches. My Girl Scout cookies just came in. I, or, I always order too many. But I feel like... I don't even want to say it's because it's for a good cause. Because it has nothing to do with that. I feel like you just can't have too many Girl Scout cookies. Am I right? Drinking water, by the way. I was going to have a beer, but... I'm thirsty. I've been in a hot kitchen for 10 hours, so... Water it is. I haven't even changed out of my work clothes. I had to go jump in the shower, but I wanted a cigar first. So I'm full of flour and yeah. So the Jeep did awesome in the snow. I did have to get the driveway plowed at the end in order to get out though. There was this wall of snow that just went on for, I'd say about a car length. The, I live on the corner of a city road and a state highway. So the state plows and all the city plows put all the snow from the whole main road in my driveway. And not only do they put it in the top driveway, but I have two driveways. I have a bottom driveway down where we have a barn. And that driveway isn't usually so bad, but this time they didn't really have a choice. There's just so much snow. So there was a huge ridge that went from where my driveway started way out part way into the road. So it wasn't like it was a bump to go over. It was more like it was a wall of snow to drive through. So rather than get stuck and have to get pulled out, I had the end of the driveway plowed and then I just hopped up and out of the driveway. Looking forward to summer. Taking the doors off and the top off the Jeep. Not having to shovel snow. That'll be a plus.
Saw that new Logan movie. That was pretty good. Real uh, emotional movie. Definitely. Just ran out of one of my snuffs today. The Gawith Apricot. I still got a few tins of his own of President left, which means I have to be placing an order another. I probably got a month or two of presidents left. So I got like five or six tins. So that should get me. So maybe in a month, I'll place an order. These aren't too bad a cigar. I mean, this one's got a pretty decent burn. If you see, the construction isn't the best. But uh, for a buck, a little over a buck a stick, you really can't go wrong. Like I say, every once in a while, you'll get one out of a bundle. You might get a couple that are just dog rockets. You pitch them, you can't draw through them, or you... These I found would do better when you put a hole with a punch in them than if you clip the end. If you clip the end, they seem to unravel on you real easy. They're not really great caps on them, so... But they don't, they don't get resinous or nothing at the end. They're a Nicaraguan stick with a Sumatra wrapper. Pretty good. Slowly but surely, been getting my back fixed. It's been a, it's been an uphill struggle, but that's how it goes. I spent a, a whole lifetime screwing my back up, so now I gotta go through all those injuries in reverse to fix it, so to speak, as I get adjusted and work through them in reverse. I definitely appreciate warm days and days when it's not raining out more than I did when I was 18 years old. I do love the way the snow looks though. Through the window, I don't like going out in it as much. I like driving it in the Jeep. That's fun. It's like having a big, one of those, uh, well it doesn't have tracks on it, but one of those outdoor like six wheel aquatic ATV type jobs like a gator because I can fit I got four doors so I can fit like five people it didn't snow today so that was a good thing the Sun was out all day which actually melted some of the snow but there's so much of it, it's got a lot more melting to do. <laughs> In which, then we're gonna run into the problem of everybody's gonna start flooding out again. I mean, if it goes too fast, that's not good either, so. A lot of people lost their homes because of flooding here not long ago. And uh, it's not something I think the locals wanna repeat they can prolong that thaw. They'll, they'll deal with the snow a little while. There's still sidewalks that haven't been touched by the sidewalk plows because they just haven't gotten to them. I mean, you could lose a person in between the snow piles of a sidewalk. It's pretty intense. Just the scale of it. 
I've lived here my whole life and it's still, it still amazes me how fast it can happen. It can go from green grass and sunny to feet, literally feet of snow and, and sub-zero temperatures all in an instant. I told the people at work I was going to use my paycheck this week to buy a ticket to Aruba or someplace nice and warm and tropical. And I was going to call them from there and let them know I was never coming back. And they laughed because they know that my check wasn't enough to buy a ticket to Aruba. <laughs> Been testing chocolate chip cookies at work. Got a pretty good recipe. We're gonna be selling those. Those and cannolis. We got a good recipe for them. I love to cook. The hours suck sometimes, but I don't know, the reward is, I love what I do, so it's not really like a job for me. So getting up every day and, now when it's freezing outside and snowing and I gotta go find my vehicle before I can even start it, I gotta shovel a path to it just to get it started to warm it up for 20 minutes to drive two miles up the road to go to work. That's not encouraging, but once I'm there, I enjoy what I do. <laughs> I work with my brother now. He quit the place he was at. He was working up to the Turning Stone Casino, which I used to work with him there. And now he's working with me over to the Pete's Pub. So that's kind of fun. I get to work with my brother every day. Although he gets to go home after half a day and I'm there. But he gets there an hour before I do. I don't know how that balances out. He's there an hour and a half before me and he leaves four or five hours before me doesn't seem right. I do get an hour lunch break though. That's nice because I get to come home and see my fam for a minute and just kind of kick my shoes off. I usually smoke a pipe and just relax for 20 minutes or so and then by that time I got to warm my car back up again. Go out and start that. And of course go make sure my beard is up where it needs to be so I'm not crazy beard it's still there for those of you who are wondering it's clipped up it's braided and it's clipped up yes it takes a long time every day to do it but I like having a beard so I go through the hassle If any of you watch uh, Rawville's videos, you'll see he just did a beard video where he talked about issues and problems he has with a, a longer beard. And uh, I've run into all of the above that he had issues with. I end up having to, uh, every once in a while, I just will just brush it out and go to sleep without doing anything to it. And man, I wake up just sleeping on it, yanking on it. My wife will turn over and pull on it. You know, she'll turn over on it and it'll just pull my whole face down in my sleep. It'll wake me right up. It'll be in my armpit. It's in my mouth. It's... So when I sleep, I tend to put it in a few different rings. Um, just like 
the little ties, ponytail ties there, this, this stretchy rubber bands that are coated so they don't rip your hair out. Sometimes I do a braid and then one at the bottom and call it a day, but most of the time I just put it in a little looser because it's all braided and up in all day, every day. So when I get home at night, take a shower and brush it out. I like to put beard oil in it and then let it just kind of breathe a little bit. And then before I go to sleep, I'll put it in ponytail and a bunch of different, like usually three or four or five depends well I'm gonna finish my cigar go do a few things around the house here and then I'm going to jump in the shower I thank everybody for joining me I will try and find that photo on my phone of that yo-yo riding his bicycle in a snowstorm and I will put it on for you guys to kind of chuckle at. Like I said, it's not a very good photo, so don't expect too much. I think I've rambled about absolutely nothing long enough. But I hope everybody enjoyed it. Have a great time, YouTube. Peace.